Hello Nancy. I'm going to show you how you can post your newsletter. The first thing we need to do is get the newsletter into this media file and uh, actually we are already in your website here as you can see we are in the um, dashboard section and I'm going to upload this for you and link it and everything for you this and then you can save this video and use it for your next uh, um, newsletter. So here we go. We're going to put this in the media folder. That's your library where all of your images and videos and audio and all that sit. So we're going to add new because that's where we're going to put it. <clears throat> and you sent me that newsletter and I put it on my desktop here. And we're going to go find that. And let's see. There we are. Right there. There's your newsletter. So you select it. Open and now that's going to load and it's sizing it so it will come up quickly okay so here we are we got all your information you can put a description in here if you'd like and here is the pathway to the this is where it sits this is where the newsletter sits along this pathway you can see right there your newsletter PDF so you want to select this whole pathway. You can either double click it or just highlight it and we want to copy that. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and save that. And it comes back to your media file. And then we're going to go over here to your pages where your newsletter page sits. And we're going to locate that file. And that will be on the second page here. There it is. And there's your text that comes up. And what we're going to do is expand this browser out so that all of this area here will be showing. And we do that with this icon right here at a full screen mode. That way you get to see all of your text. And I'm going to delete that because I put that in there. Now this is where all of your um, newsletters are. We're going to put a newsletter in and what I just deleted there I had already typed it in there because I was practicing so we're going to start that over so we're we'll type in newsletter May June and then we're going to highlight that because we're going to link this these letters right here to that file that we had copied which is still on our clipboard. We want to go up here and find the link button which is right here it looks like a chain link and it even says so as you put your arrow over it it'll tell you that's what it is click on that and a box will come up and as you can see the cursor is blinking right in the area where you want to put that to copy that or paste that uh, link so we just paste that right in there there you go and there you are and that's it and you just insert that okay so there it is. You can see that's turned into a link now. And now what we want to do is go back to our regular size so that we can publish it and, and uh, first we'll preview it. So we preview the changes. And there it is. It's going to come up. There you are, right there. just about there. There we go. Okay, and so there's your newsletter. Nice looking newsletter. And we're going to go back to that page and there you are. So that's the preview so we just close that out and now you're back into your regular edit, your regular page and we're still in the edit mode. So we're going to update this page to save it. And as soon as that little circle quits spinning there there we go. I think that did it. Let's see what happened here. There it is right there. And that's it. You're all done. And uh, inserting a picture works very much the same way. And uh, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and close this video out and I'll make you another one about inserting pictures. Okay. Have a good one, Nancy.